In this video, we are going to cover how to take your GoDaddy domain that you re recently purchased, change the name server so that it's pointing in the right direction, as well as download and install your WordPress onto your new site so that you can log in and create an account on your new site via WordPress. So let's go ahead and get started at that. First of all, head over to GoDaddy. You can go to GoDaddy.com, purchase your domain or rather register it. Sorry, register your new domain name and then go ahead and sign in. Once you've signed in, go ahead and head over to your uh, manage domains right here. Click on control panel links, manage my domains. And once you've loaded this page, you'll see all of the new links and domains that you've recently purchased. I'm going to go to the latest one that I've purchased recently so that I can use this one as an example for you. Once you get to your domains page, go ahead and scroll down right here. The area that we're going to be using is name servers. Now you'll head over to the name servers and you'll notice there are two. These are the two standard name servers that are GoDaddy's standard servers that you're going to be changing so that it's pointing in the right direction of your host. Now the reason you do this is because you need to be able to point your domain in the right direction so it's able to be accessed by your host. Now the host that I use and I often recommend for other people who ask me is HostGator. I really love them. I definitely recommend them. Now it's totally fine if you use some other host, whether that's Bluehost or another one, but just so you know, that's the one I'm using in this example and in this video so that you can get a good idea of how to go through this process. So next you're gonna go to name servers and click on manage. Now you'll notice it's set to standard, just like I mentioned before. These are GoDaddy's standard name servers. You're going to click on custom and then go ahead and sit on this page real quick. Don't worry and we'll come right back to it. Next, I want you to go ahead and log in to HostGator. Open up a new tab, log into HostGator and go over to your cPanel. Now, if you don't know how to get to your cPanel real quick, just log into HostGator, head over to your packages page and then click on your login cPanel page. It'll send you over this page and you can put in your email address or in this case my username and your password. Go ahead and log into your cPanel once you've reached that point and again you can you can always pause this video and go and finish what you're doing and then come back to it if I'm going too quickly for you. I just wanted to make sure this video is nice quick easy and to the point for you. So next what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down the page. You're going to go all the way to the bottom where you're going to find the name servers here on your cPanel of your HostGator account. You'll notice that once again there are two just like the standard GoDaddy domains you recently noticed. Go ahead and copy and paste one of these at a time and you're going to click on enter custom name servers and paste those in. Now I'm just using, I'm on a Mac so I'm using command C to copy and command V to paste. Next you'll click on OK. It's going to validate it and it's going to update these name servers for you. Once that's completed, you go ahead and click save and you'll notice right up here it says set name servers. You'll, notice, you'll also notice that it says it'll take a few minutes to take effect. I wanted to really note that for you because sometimes it does take a little bit. Now this can take a few minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. I've actually had a couple of name servers that have taken upwards of 30 to 40 minutes to update, which is um, really stressful when you don't know what's going on and why your site isn't updating from that GoDaddy standard page to your new uh, WordPress website. So just so you know, if it hasn't taken effect yet, that's why. So you just got to give it a little bit of time. Just keep refreshing and you'll, it'll eventually uh, set up for you. So once that's done with your name servers, go ahead and let this page stay open for a minute. And while you're waiting for those name servers to take effect, you can head back over to your HostGator cPanel. Scroll back up to the very top. Once you're here, you'll notice in the special offer section is this WordPress little area right here. Now, if you don't see it for whatever reason, if it's not there, you can go ahead and click it in right here, WordPress, and it'll pop up to the top. Now, go ahead and click on get started with WordPress today, and it'll take you straight over to HostGator's quick install, which is very easy to use and very convenient. Next, you'll click on install WordPress, and it'll take you to all these little boxes right here that you need to fill in. Go ahead and fill this in by clicking on the domain you want to be using, the exact domain that you recently bought. And I would suggest and highly recommend to leave the path in the install path here box clear. Don't write anything here because otherwise it's going to be really difficult for you to locate your WordPress and it's only going to be available in this pathway. I recommend just leaving it blank. Next, go ahead and enter all of your information, your email address, blog title, admin user, first name, and last name. Now, the reason why this is important is because, especially your admin user, what 
quick install is going to do for you is it's going to take this email and send you both your admin user and your password. So go ahead and fill in all of this information and then click install WordPress. Now I already have WordPress installed on this site, but one thing you'll notice when you click on this, so I'm not going to click on it or fill in this information, but once you notice when you click this, a box will appear up here in the top in the top of the page. It'll say that it was a success and that your new WordPress site is installed. Once that happens, you can go ahead and head over to your new site. And of course, once those name servers take an effect, so you might have to wait a couple of minutes there if you were quickly able to install your WordPress. So let's go ahead and head over to that URL, that domain, and you'll see this nice little landing page, Mojo Marketplace. I just recently installed WordPress and it'll have this not so pretty page set up for you. Next, you're gonna click on your URL and type in WP slash admin. Super simple, really easy. Again, it's WP dash admin. Next, you'll take it'll be taking it'll take you to your new login page for WordPress. Go ahead and click in the username that you used over there. So for me, it would be Ali and the password that you received via email. Once you log, once you put that information in and log in, you now have access to the back end of your WordPress site. And you can go ahead and start editing and creating a beautiful website for your business. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment below um, on this YouTube video so that I know what kind of videos you would like to see. This video was based off of another question that was asked on one of my previous videos. So basically, it's really helpful for me to know what you want and I'm more than happy to create these videos for you to help you understand how to get started on WordPress, how to use the Divi theme, and really how to design your sites quickly and easily and affordably. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day. Keep killing it and I'll see ya.